hi and welcome again with the second video as you you see we are talking about stripe payment uh, we are integrated with asp.net core uh, in the last video uh, we have written the simple uh, logic for that we start in the startup file we add all our files what we what we need in the code here and same time in the app setting so we stop here with the ASP forum so as we said uh, we took the simple form from uh, stripe just we modify it to be working in uh, ASP core so just we change our ASP action so with this will get it action in our ASP after that we send it to this controller exactly this uh, action so let's we'll leave it as simple as is it here the payment will be five dollar and here we are sending our key uh, it's very simple you can change the name here and this payment amount you can leave it or you can do i will just leave it uh, take it from here now i don't need it uh, okay here will be very simple so let's go now to our uh, controller so when i press submit i will come to this controller so what i will write here i will say public i action I need to call it charge return view very simple so the data the uh, the forum what will send me data exactly from there from the from the forum the java uh, sorry the forum in the index here this forum will send me two things two important things will send me the email and the token stripe token that's very important to receive them so here inside this one I will write the email and the token I can get that as much as I want no problem I can add here anything I want but I need to send it from there as same time so here what I need to declare first I need to declare a uh, customer uh, this customer will be new customer will be this service okay let me just call it from stripe okay same time i need to declare uh, charge equal a new charge it will be charge uh, charge from recharge service i think service yeah that's it okay so i need to create this customer now what i have written already customers customer only equal will be from customers dot create okay and this one what will create inside it will be a new customer create options yeah that's it okay i can send data as much as i want so here what we'll send here i will need to send the email i received already from the stripe email okay after that there is a, i need to send my token source token it will be stripe token so right where is what i have sent from there yeah this one start token that's it here so it's very simple now i have great my customer so this one will go to my uh, to the after get from the get the token and email from the front we'll get my customer here after i need to call uh, i need to create charge equal charge oh, charges be charged this one okay so that get what will get exactly same there let's say a new chart option create here what i want to pass i can pass my amount uh, let's suppose i need to send five dollar only sorry uh, after that I can I can send description if I like okay anything you can write here uh, 
let's say uh, sorry uh, test uh, and this way you can see see everything in the uh, control panel or on the dashboard we need to send the currency what we are paying which currency we are paying let's say USD you can change it you can check the code in the, the main website you can see everything there so the uh, customer ID will be customer I'll get it from same customer here what I have created so now here let's suppose 99% I have finished but I don't know this payment is already done or no so here I will get my uh, token from the from the front here here will connect the stripe website will confirm it they will take the token there they will send me the token and the email to create the customer of that to create the payment or the charge to charge my customer here I need to uh, say the payment is successful or no how, how I can do that I can write uh, if you check the documentation there you can say uh, you can find the and that's right if the payment that's uh, if, sorry what you have done here charge that status equal success that's mean your payment has been done exactly Had, has been done successfully so I'll copy this lines here uh, what I have done here I say charge really card. call this one charge same so if charge that status it succeeds succeeded so store for me the balance in the balance transaction ID this one you can get the transaction ID from the chart if it's successful you actually you can get many data from this one okay if this one successful give me the this one the transaction number after that I can say uh, return I will ret return it or redirect it somewhere same time we can say else so my payment uh, fail so what I can do here I can same time I can forward it somewhere uh, I will not do that one I'm not there need to be this video too long I just show you it's very simple example uh, let me just put debugging here uh, let's run it we'll see what will happen exactly here Okay, it's working here you can add, add as I said many as much as you can data there is in the documentation in the stripe website you can find I'll show you one or two things after this one I've just tested so now you'll see your website like this uh, our amounts will be five dollar if you press on pay you'll get the simple form as I said this not customize it you can't change anything here maybe next video I will try to do uh, implement the customized one if you press on test mode just to get uh, any card number from here all this for test let's say a at a dot com okay sorry let's put a date one two three if you say pay we'll get the token and we'll send you where to our code now if you check our code in the debugging you say your the mail you have written is a at a.com and we give you this token now if you pass this one you rate your customer and your charge so in the customer you put the email and the token to create the customer at the same time you create after that a second step will be to create a payment uh, with five dollar amount here the zero zero it's five because it is double they will take only the first line um, maybe next video I'll, I'll teach you I will show you how to to do that one okay now after my charge is finished here I can see here what they have sent me again back they send you the amount and the transactions and JSON file with the bill details actually you can send and receive data as much as you as I said here so let me check the 
payment is successful yes it's successful so the status is successful now I can store my transactions I can send this transaction number to my da database and store it there or anything so after this one you should send your user to uh, page you said you have done your payment successfully you can send him mail you can send them anything so uh, I will just add one more thing this if I press now we'll go here because I don't have any chart page so let me close these things now I'll show you one more things uh, there is as I said many things in the documentation uh, one of them you can't send as if, if you try to use uh, if you try before you use the uh, PayPal after you do any payment they will send you email as a confirmation so here they have same same feature you can just write the receipt email so they will send you as a receipt to your email you, you have done this payment to this customer everything's written inside it so let's suppose you need to add more data to your this is not enough for you or you don't have uh, you have more data to send to database you need to mo more details about your payment you can uh, write it in the metadata here you can create your uh, dictionary that's supposed to think setting a string string sorry and this one what you can write here mm, uh, let's suppose I need to send my order ID uh, with something more uh, okay inside this one I need to store dictionary in this dictionary I need to string uh, let's suppose here order ID let's suppose this coming from from the front or from your database and same time you can uh, let's suppose you can send him uh, uh, your postcode code uh, le1 anything your postcode your zip code that's it that's same the things this data you will see it in your uh, new dashboard let me just show you again how it will be this one I will open the dashboard too just to show you how is it there how the payment and the, the transactions and your data how it's receiving in your database and your uh, dashboard so let's say I need to pay now uh, five dollar uh, from any card here. Okay, let me say I need to say aa at aa.com. A card number, I need it, two, two, three. Pay it. So let's just see what will happen, what will happen here again. Not debug it. I need just you to remember uh, we are adding order ID and zip code here. Let's just continue on this one. After that, let's go to our dashboard. So dashboard is if I go to my payments, I have done payments with five dollar two times this one and this one. So now my payment and transaction I have written A A the email. So if I now go to details, more details, they'll show you the card you have you have paid with and they show you the percentage and everything and what I write extra more there at the metadata so here I receive my order and my postcode uh, you can write anything you like here still they have more options more things you can write your address your billing address there is many things you can use with it so uh, maybe next time we'll try to uh, maybe customize it how to do it with the customized one uh, customized well mean you can uh, write by yourself because not all browsers support uh, what they are using here so uh, maybe next video we'll see how to do the customized forum see you